What is up guys, HD here, welcome back to Lisa. Now this is a game I've decided to check out because it was recommended to me and it was really weird in episode 1, but we are here for episode 2 where I reckon the game's gonna get a lot weirder. So, I kinda left off in this scene where everyone had been killed and I think our found daughter had been taken and I'm not really sure, I think, because we're in a world where women are scarce and I think the thing at the start of the game in the first episode was a sort of flashback, a memory that I had of my abusive father and the fact I was bullied on a playground and such. I thought it just went from that to this but I think that was more of a flashback than anything but I'm gonna carry on with this game because it's really weird and I, I had a lot of fun playing it last time I'm not gonna lie I did have a lot of fun so hi football guy they're dead oh not just he's oh my god that's one way to start it. You suffered serious damage. Did I die? No. Time is a great teacher. Okay. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Okay. It's me! I'm not dead and you're riding on a deer? Oh, what? Okay, this game is okay. Howdy, motherfucker! Oh god. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it, like your head in a dryer. Normally, I'll have you'd be dead and strippy. Strippy? Strippio? Stripped. I think there's meant to be a D, but it looks like an O at the end, so I'm not really sure what that means, but of your wares by now. But I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shan't give you another choice. Your yellow shirted friend's life or all of your belongings. Oh no, choose wisely. What will you give us? I've got to save Terry's life. Take that. Hmm. How boring. Alright, boys. Strip him quickly. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. God damn it. All of your stuff has been taken. Oh, no. Oh, I saved Terry, though. Hey, Terry. Ugh. My head. I forgot what voice I gave him. Whoa, you look like hell. I think it was that one. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, my first hamstring. First my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well. It's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Yay! Terry Hints. Join you! Again! <laughs> oh, for like the third time. So what- oh, is this where we got hit then? Yeah, that's a lot of blood. And we've got a scar on our face now. Oh no, I wonder if that was avoidable at all. I'm gonna say it probably wasn't. I'm gonna go up here because I feel like that's that's the right choice here. And it didn't matter regardless. Okay, down we go. Down we go. Oh. Whoa! What? What just happened? <laughs> what? Did he just explode on me? <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Sure, we should have learned not to question this game, you know. I'm gonna go up here. I feel like it sounds like here. I'm not sure what, but something's up here. And I'm gonna find out what. I am gonna find out what. That was so weird. That was like... <laughs> I think I lost 100 health from that as well. Which is not good. Ow! Oh, so I can't get up there. Oh god, I keep losing health. <laughs> I have no belongings anymore, though. Oh no. Oh, hi, guy. New friend. Seems like a storm's running around here. You look tired, are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Oh, you're a nice guy. Let's get some rest. Yeah, let's get some rest. I want some rest. 
Yeah, oh. Rest here, yes. <laughs> I'm resting! Oh yeah, I forgot it said resting can be dangerous sometimes, can't it? Hi, dude! I think that was okay, though. I think we're all good. I think everything is A-OK. -okay. Oh, whoa. Got an achievement called Let's Find Her. Whoa! Holy heck! Okay, so... The world can be saved. Find her! Status effect. Whoa. Scared? Stop shooing your tracks. Oh my god. Cool pick, huh? Oh god, okay. Wary, slightly increased defense, weird. So this is all of the thing. I'm not gonna remember that. And this is the same thing. The world can be saved. Find her. Ow! How dare you! Alright, guess I'm gonna do Armstrong style and you can have your... Um, yeah, do that. Do it! Do it! How did that do? I missed. Great. And I'm crying now. Just what I need in life. Just what I need. Okay, well... I guess I'm gonna fight you again. And you can do another verbal bash. But don't miss this time, please. You're crying. Okay, that's good, I guess. I have to be careful, because I have no items. And if I die to this, that will not be good. So, I have to... Let's just attack with both. Go. Oh, yeah, Terry can't attack. Oh, we did two damage. We did two damage. That's good. Oh, 64. Ooh. Nice. My interesting. Wait, my intestines are in disarray. <laughs> Not my interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I got him. That's good. Here's a hint. You suck. I rule. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Terry. Sick drops. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I got him. I guess I'm going to save. Uh, yeah, I'll do a new one. Why not? Let's go and talk to this dead guy. Is he going to say he's dead? He's full of holes. Oh. <laughs> Not what I thought I was going to say, but sure. Sure. Okay. Well, what about this guy? He's dead. <laughs> Should have expected that one. Oh, i got to go down there. Oh, it's going to hurt me, innit? Yeah. Of course. God damn it. Okay, well, that's fine. It's fine. It's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> There's literally nothing I can do about it. I'm going to go down here. Now I'm going to go this way and drop down this bit and get this bottle. Because I like bottles. Yeah. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh my god. Okay. Where does this one take me? Whoa. Where am I? Wait. No. Wait. What is this place? Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh-oh, Tommy. Haha, <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, Sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me a bucket of water? Yes, yes I could. You got a bucket. Oh! You fool! That's not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! That bucket! Oh god, I gotta go. Get that bucket of water, quick! Okay, I gotta go, 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 I gotta go! Oh my god! Okay, I'm going. I'm gonna go and get this bucket of water that's up here for some reason. You got the bucket! They're all gonna be dead, aren't they? They're all gonna be dead. Oh, they've all burnt to a crisp! I wasn't quick enough! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to fight you now, aren't I? You are too late. This is the second most tragic thing that to happen in my life. Okay. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen? Oh my god, so I just... <laughs> oh, what? What did I do? I'm so sorry! So wait, nothing happens now. Oh dear. Sure thing, whatever. I'm gonna go this way. Doesn't mean anything, but I'm gonna go this way. Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Fuck's sake, why did... That was so random! What happened? It gave me a chuckle, but what the hell? See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks, because the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I going to make firebombs? Can I go in here? Oh, it's dark. It's very dark. 
I don't know what's here. Oh, fuck. What happened? Fight. What am I fighting? I don't know what I'm fighting. A shadowy figure. Great. Sure. Can I fight this thing? 107. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is doing, like, nothing. What? Okay, let's do, let's do surprise attack. And just a regular attack. It's a fuck. Five. Okay, good. Good. Miss! What? Oh, God. Okay. Right, let's do surprise attack again. And then give verbal bash. Go. Okay. Oh, my God. He's hurting me so much. Crying and pissed. Okay. I missed again! Okay, I can't do... Okay, let's do Armstrong with you. And regular attack with you. 330? Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, mystery jerky. Right, I gotta take that. I gotta, I gotta have that, because I will die. Wait, what? Dry the moat recovery. Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta. I got I'll die otherwise. And that's literally it. I'm gonna get caught by another one, aren't I? I reckon I am, you know. I reckon I'm gonna get caught by another one. And that will not be good. Oh, another door. Okay, good. Good, I got out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now where am I? Bring her to Rando and he will give you the world. So that literally they, they want Lisa. I, I'm assuming her name is Lisa. Just so they can try and repopulate the planet. But, oh, God. Who are these people? Hi. Can I not talk to any of you? Okay, bye. Yo. Where are you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. <clears throat> Rando doesn't want us staring shit for no reason. Starting. I said get over here now. <sighs> you got any business here? I'm just passing by. Just get out of here. Okay. But, oh, hi. How you doing? You're coming up to me slowly. You're gonna fight me, aren't you? You deaf? This place ain't for schoolboys. You done fucked up. Oh, God. All of them? Oh, God. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's do, let's do skills, I guess. Oh, my God. What's going on? Let's do, let's do buster punches. I'm literally fighting all of them. I think the best thing to do is get rid of Oak Street. Oh, my God. God damn it. Okay. That's, that's little. Yeah. I don't know. This is not going to be easy, though. 91. Oh, no. I'm going to die so quickly. Oh, my God. No, I, I need to escape. I can't escape. Is that because I'm on pain mode? Oh, my God. I'm going to die. What's the dot, dot, dot for? Oh, my. I'm going to die. Terry's dead. Now I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's, it. That's the end of the game. I'm dead. <laughs> Like, oh my god, like, maybe if I try that again? Oh, I'm gonna have to go for the whole thing again. Oh, I can go up here. It reset because I died, but I didn't think I could go up here when I can. Hi, guy. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Okay. Sure. I guess, I guess this is just the chicken man. Sure thing. Well, that didn't cause any, any damage, did it? Okay. Hey, pal, you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no, just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. I'm closing my eyes. Good night. Olaf. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I talk to this guy? Not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys run through here going on about a girl. I'm... Uh, bah, 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 bah. A balding guy in pink and a pathetic-headed man in green cut the bridge out. They looked really scared, neither of them fit for the battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back on their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked 
ugly. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to go and look at this truck then. So I can't go that way. It's locked. So maybe I can find a key? It's locked again. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so if you're wondering where I am, I didn't just, you know, skip the fight or anything. I'm just over here where the original, like, tunnels were. I just went to the right instead, see what was there, and that happened. So I'm probably going to have to fight the shadowy figure again, which is absolutely great. That happened a lot earlier than last time. Oh, does that mean I could potentially fight two? I don't want to do that. Right, guys, I've been doing this for a little while now, and I think I've just been choosing the wrong door each time, because I've been going through the same door every single time. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's three other doors here. So I'm going to go through this little crawl hole and see where it takes me. It took me somewhere completely different. That is good. Turn back. Okay, not going to do that. Okay, probably should have. It's a snake. That shouldn't be too bad. It's a snake. If I die to a snake, holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Oh my god, are you kidding? I'm gonna die to a snake? No way. I can escape. Yep, yeah, you can't. Brad's party was started to escape. You can't escape. No. Escape. Why can't I escape? Oh god, I gotta fight it. Okay. Oh, it killed me. It's just Harry. It's just Harry. God, no. I'm dead. How is that snake so strong? <laughs> god damn it! I gotta do everything again! Right, so we are finally back here. I know it seems like I could just walk here from the save, but I go and interact with everything again just in case it triggers something later on in the game, but... I should have listened to him about the red skulls, because the two doors on the right have a red skull. I was killed by a snake on the middle door, so I'm going to go to this door on the left, because I've not been down this one. It's the only one I've not been down, so I'm going to go down this one and hope for the best. Can I go this way? Oh yes, I can. What is this? You found a secret stash. Ten magazines. What do the magazines do? How am I meant to know this? Oh god, okay. Well, I can't go that way. How, wait, how do I jump across gaps? There must be a way to jump across gaps. Because I don't know how yet. Can I not just... No. This is what the magazines do, shall we? So, weapon, armor... Oh, I don't, I don't know what happened with the magazines then. They're just not there anymore. Okay, well, there's something up there that I can't get. So maybe I have to backtrack really later to get that. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Right, what's this way? Oh, God. This world's quite big, it's like almost open world, but not at the same time, if that makes any sense. Hi guy, how are you? I don't know you, but how are you? Let's talk to you. Hi, please don't be an enemy. I'm not saved in ages. Okay. <laughs> Silence. Are you mute? Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I'm gathered a wealth of knowledge and oath, and what happened? Many tales, would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm, I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, i tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh right, it all started when I was like the cool, the flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea then transfer its content into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle, I guess maybe she, so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So, I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, ho ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Someone, something was wrong. I've lived many years, and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup! It was my rocking chair! That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. 
So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. <laughs> I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I am a tool guy. I work 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Not now my neighbor at the time, Tom Fork Knight, was very short. His wife, Karen Fork Knight's plate burger. Yes, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say when a soft six. Whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my whore, horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, and now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay, ay, ay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. What? <laughs> I read all that! That music played for all that! No. I can tell you by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. No, 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 no. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Oh, no. <laughs> Once upon a summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Corny Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an upright bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than right. Tom Forknights. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made a potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashio kind of fellow. Ho ho. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to my distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul, I just didn't want to it. I didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife walks in where we're already there. And get this, they brought fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork knights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of good choice words. What? About whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I don't care. Bye. I don't want to talk to you ever again. You just drag things out for too long. Can I steal any of your stuff? No. Oh god. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go. I'm sorry. Just gonna go. Yeah, bye. Should not have come here. It was a big mistake to come here. Oh no. <laughs> well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. How did you get here in front of me? What are you following me or something? Ho <laughs> ho. Oh, anyway. 
Oh no, I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real cookie day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, UI Yesen Utensils. <laughs> she's got, she's some young woman. Maybe a boy? I don't know. Either way, that Chilio can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw UI Yesis on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there was some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than patient's comfort. And his assembly big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly started directly at my feet. Stared directly at my feet, as to not ag aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I am all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore. But beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many more a tale to tell. Oh no. He's joined my party and I got an achievement called Annoying Guy. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I suppose we're a tad stronger now, so I guess that's good. Oh, okay, I did all that. And I've now got a new party member, I guess. Hi. Smooth. Ah. Jesse. Okay. <laughs> you do you. I'll just keep on going this way. Sneak up behind you. So I can get this bag of money. Don't mind me. Oh my god, I just want this bag of money. I just want this bag of money. Can I not have the bag of money? Does it not work like that anymore? Does it not work like that anymore? I'm going to say no. Okay, I'm going to go down here and get these bottles. Yep. I'll have the bottles. Thank you very much, game. Thank you very much. Oh my god, this was story time and a half, weren't it, this episode? Jesus, and there's a hut here. And the hint! Ah! Bars. You can often find people for hire in bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party information. For when you want to swap party members in and out. Bars are great places. Chug a logging Terry. Alright, we might get a new party member. Whoa. I want you. Yo! What's happening, my man? You got a couple of mags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother. An infusion jelly pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutt. Cell rage, give him. Do I have enough? Yeah, fuck it, I do. You don't have enough. Oh, what about you? What about you? I have a little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all about bringing it by my drink. Boom, there we go. You don't have enough mag. Do I not have any? Oh, damn. Okay, guess that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> I swear I had some. Oh, God. Now what's happening? This post is everywhere. Okay, I guess I'm going to climb this. I guess so. Right, let's see what's in here. Nothing? 
Nothing at all. Is it the Molotov? <gasps> I want the Molotov. Let me have the Molotov. It won't let me, will it? Got that. It. Were. Oh, no. You deal with it. Uh. Okay. I will. Oh, another memory. Okay. Oh, or not. Or not. Or not. Okay. Don't know what that means, but sure. Let's just accept it. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh dear. Alright, right. Let's see what's up here, shall we? What's in here? Nothing. It says another candle. Okay. Boom. Anything? No? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna drop down here. And then drop down here. I can't. How interesting. That's very good. Ow! 50? Oh no. Tell me I have mystery jo I don't have anything. God damn it. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. I can't I have to deal with it now, don't I? Oh my god. Oh, blue text now. BR. What is all this? Okay, who are you? People think this girl is some kind of godsend. If that ain't so, I'm gonna tear up all apart. Okay, sure. Listen here, brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need to get you a refreshing bottle of liquor. I'll do it myself, but I'm all washed up. Okay. I don't know what the magazines do, but sure. I'll accept that. I'll accept it. How do I get up there? Hi, guys. How you doing? Don't mind Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. Buzz off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure thing. Ouch. Okay. This is really weird. Hi, old man. Hello, old chum. Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. Wonderful. You don't have the paper, pal. I don't have any money. How do I not have any money? I don't understand how I've got no money. Hi, guy. How you doing? Can I not talk to you? Honestly, I'm happier now that the world has ended. It helps that my wife and kids aren't here. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure, you have your take on the world. You have your take on the world, and I'll have mine, shall I? Can I get in here? <gasps> I can. Okay, well, get this bottle then. Get this bottle then. Get this bottle then. Ouch. This is what this is. Ah! It makes sense. <laughs> I, <cl> <laughs> I clapped. There's nothing on the table. <laughs> what a rush. That was great. Take this. You got a bottle of perfume. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so accidental, but that was great. Oh my god, I loved that. That was awesome. That was so, so, so good. Oh, I can invest in this guy now. Yeah, I can afford you. Yeah, boom. Wonderful! You got the Trust for Suckers manual. Nice. So worth the mags. So worth the mags. Right, I think I'm gonna leave that episode there. I just went off to the right screen and saved because there was a crow over there, but then I came back here because I thought this was a nicer place to end the episode. So I'll probably start the episode, the next one here as well, just because it kind of works, you know, continuatively. Don't know if that's a word, but it's a word I'm using. But no, this game's really weird. I struggled for a little bit, and I know this episode may be a tad longer than the previous one, but it's gonna be around half an hour. It won't be exactly half an hour. But no, this game's a lot of fun. I mean, I've got a new party member now. I got Neren. Like, why? And I've also got Trust for Suckers, as well as a manual on trust. Like, I'm gonna give that to Brad. Trust for Suckers. You're an idiot. The end. Perfect. I feel like that's an appropriate place to end the video. So, I have definitely crushed that dude. I could have potentially got a new party member. If I go and find another bar, I can. But, yeah. Whoever recommended this was right. This game is weird. <laughs> like, very weird. But I'm having a lot of fun playing it, and that's all that matters. So, like I said, I'm going to try and get... Um, well, like I said in the last episode, I'm going to try and get this game done as soon as I can. Like, most of my series, I don't rush them, but I try and get the game, you know, fairly close to one another so you can experience it as well as I can. So... This game's a lot of fun, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing it again. But like I said, I'm going to leave that video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, but like, leave a comment, and let me think of the video. And I will see you in the next one. Next season, Bye. fire!